But ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are going to go ahead and bring in our guest. I'm very excited to welcome to you the self-proclaimed greatest professional wrestler to ever walk planet Earth, Progress Wrestling's very own Tate Mayfair. Tate, welcome to Bust It Open. How are you? Oh, you know what, Tate? Unmute. Just a second, you're muted. You're muted. Well, you know, some things like I keep to myself. Here I am, live. You're right. I, I take a little bit of homage to the fact you say self-proclaimed. I don't know if you've been to Google yourself and typed it in. The greatest professional wrestler to ever walk planet Earth. Who do you see? I don't know. Well, I, you should I, maybe do when I, you get up it. Do your research. Come on, woman. What's wrong with you? I did Stop my off. research. Mm -hmm. I, I know. I know talent when I see it. And that, that guy right there on the other side of the screen has got it. Uh, Smart man. Yeah, see, I always knew I liked Mark. A, a lot of people don't like you, but I see why they don't like you. What? It's because you don't want them to. And I've oh, been that I mean, guy. You got to keep okay. them at arm's length. Most, most of the time, people touch you, and you don't want them to touch you. I get it. There's a lot of people in the world. There's a lot of people, something like 8 billion close to. Not a lot of them are very good. On top of being good, there's greatness. And what they say is true. Tateness is greatness. Tateness is wow. greatness. That's good. That's very good. Uh, I, I've seen hey. you. Go, go ahead. I want to go for Ladies it, Mark. First. I've seen you have matches with everybody you 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 give the women no breaks it's like do you uh do you take pride in like so-called as you said putting the woman in their place uh listen each to their own this is a this is a modern day isn't it you know every everybody's uh welcome everybody's equal open opportunity for an ass whooping any time of the day i have fought them all <laughs> you're right i have fought them all speedball mike bailey's the Will Ospreys, the lot of them. I've been in the ring with who everybody on the internet is saying is the greatest. And let me tell you, I'm not impressed. I know greatness because mm. I am it. And, and I've been in their ring them. And I'm telling you now, 2024 is my year. And now is the time that everybody finds out for real. This is another beautiful step on that path. So thank you for having me. Well, Tate, speaking of that path and people that you've been in the ring with, uh, your uh, bout on December 30th, you defeated uh, Simon Miller in a street fight. And Simon Miller, you know, he's a pretty popular fella. Uh, talk to us about what went down and what ended up going down uh, on the street fight. That's my point again, isn't it? There's a difference between popularity and actual excellence. Simon Miller is very popular. You're right. And, and to be honest, that's kind of part of a big reason of what I've had against him this whole time. Uh, this thing has been brewing between me and him for many, many years. It's about five years ago we first we first locked horns. We fought in pubs, in the street. We fought on beaches. We've been all over. Um, at Progress particularly, it's been two years. I thought we had squashed the beef. Um, but when I got out there in front of the people, he intentionally... He says accidentally, but got my introduction introduction wrong. The greatest professional wrestler that ever walked planet Earth. It's not hard. It's a fact. Um, he got it wrong, and he made he made it and made a joke of it, and it, it just built up over over the course of a year. At unboxing the year before, we he surprised attacked me. We had a fight. I beat him. We had a fight later in the year. I beat him, and he just kept coming after me, bit after bit after bit, and eventually, it was set street fight. And it was one of the bloodiest bloodbaths we've seen in the UK for a long time. And I finished him for good. They say right now that the grappling and wrestling in the UK has never been better. Uh, do you feel like that the competition in the UK uh, has evolved to be better than it's ever been in the history of European wrestling? Um. See, that's why he's a smart man. He's got his ear to the ground. You're right, man. I, I do agree. I would say that right now, in this moment, there is less buzz at this very moment in the UK, around the UK wrestling than there has been previously. 
I think just before pandemic, just before next to UK, there was a lot of buzz and a lot of hype around this scene. But in that time, the wrestling has actually got better. And I would say that the UK right now is the biggest like hidden secret, the biggest hidden gem there is in the professional wrestling world right now. Guarantee the best wrestlers in the world right now live in the United Kingdom. Um, and I think this year a bunch of us are breaking out and everybody's going to find out for real. We we just saw Zach Zodiac uh, come to AEW. You see, yeah. you mentioned Will Ospreay, uh, like guys to that uh, to that like and, and the familiarity. Um, how are you going to get a foothold into mainstream wrestling in the in the United States? Well, uh, it's being set. The wheels are in motion. I will be in America this year. I'll be first landing in Philadelphia for WrestleMania week. Um, and then I plan to be out there a few more times this year. I already last year had like a, so the year before last, I had like a um, debut for GCW versus TNT. And at the last year, I had an official GCW main show debut. Uh, I I foresee that there may be some, some more things to, uh, unpack there and in the united states in particular so i think i'll get out there i'll do my thing and i'll show them how great i am and we'll take things one step at a time these people it just comes eventually every knee bows everybody bows down they bend at the knee and they confess that tainness is greatness that's awesome now Here's the thing. I recently went to my first progress show uh, during the all in weekend, and it was the first time I had ever, you know, got into experience a wrestling show in the UK. And man, it had been a while since I was in a crowd like that. And it was phenomenal. And, you know, you're talking about how, you know, there's been a little bit of a, a lack of buzz out there in the UK, even though the wrestling has been uh, outstanding. Uh, tell the people who aren't familiar with progress wrestling you know about progress wrestling like some of the shows what you guys put on who the talent is and just you know give people a little bit of an insight as to what's going down down there oh well, yeah like i say i feel like in every this is no disrespect i don't you know i like to poke fun and disrespect but mainly at the at the fans who who, who uh started it if, as far as i'm concerned but no disrespect to the talent around the world uh, i've seen them i've wrestled them um but I feel like in every category, technical wrestling, you know, big character branding, um, like uh, high flying, hard hitting. I feel like in every category, the best wrestlers are in the United Kingdom. You talk about your Luke Jacobs, you talk about your uh, Leon Slaters, you talk about me. Um, they're all right here and they're every week. Um multiple times a week up and down the country in the United Kingdom. And, and there's a lot going on in Europe too. Uh, last year I sold, I, I sold out um, and set ticket records in Denmark as the highest selling ticketed show out there. Um, I wrestled 153 matches last year. So there's a lot going on. And eventually you, I feel like the breaking point is happening right now. This is a, this is a catalyst moment. It's, this very interview is a catalyst moment in that breaking point of everybody finding out just what's going on out here. The other one I want to ask you about is the Light of the Dragon that is coming up on January 28th uh, at the Electric Ballroom mm -hmm. in London. Um, what can we expect from that show? There's a lot going on, right? There's uh the grizzled young vets are back. They're back to progress where they started and made their name, and they're taking on the Sunshine Machine. Sunshine Machine are the one of the best U, uh, UK tag team. They held and they and in progress history too, they held the title longer than anyone. They had more defenses than anyone. So that's like a a mega super fight between the two of them. And then you've got Leon Slater and Mustafa Ali again. Like you guys know about Leon. I've heard great things about him from Will Ospreay, actually. Well, you've heard it from me, and that means more than him. Let me tell you, <laughs> Leon's Leon's taken over the world, and uh, and and that match is gonna bang. And then, most importantly of all, the main event. Who does it feature? Yourself. Main event Mayfair's in the Thunder Bar, so they, a like progress special match. Um, it includes like a, a number of wrestlers, about seven of us. I may get the number wrong. I've got to be honest. 
I don't really count or care about that because there's only one guy that matters, and that's me. The winner of this match gets a title opportunity. Kind of like that money in the bank thing they have over at some other place. You get a key, and this key is the key to a title opportunity anytime, anywhere, any place that you choose. Wow. That key belongs to me. That key belongs to me. And at the end of the night, it's uh, it's coming on me. I'm going to go have a nice sweet steak. And then I'm going to put my Ooh. feet up and make my plans and look at the scene and see when the best time is to cash in. Tate, you uh, mentioned food, which is uh, like my favorite thing in the entire world. Yes. You look mm. to be in really good shape. So maybe you wouldn't eat something like Nando's. You ever go to Nando's? <laughs> Nando's is a classic. A lot of the Americans who come over here, it's like a, it's a special treat for them. It's something they don't get, right? Uh, uh, but I tell you what, Mark, when you're over next, uh, if you're over, you hit me up. I'll take you somewhere. I'll take you somewhere fancy. I've got Gaucho's Tower Bridge. I got I got Gilgamesh. I got all of the hot spots, bro. Whoa. I was at Gazer on on Christmas Eve. I I, I fine dined. Nando's is some some throwaway stuff. I'll show you out the good stuff. All right. All right, I'm down. I like it. This guy's going to be a champion. Mark is hey, ready to I book his am. tickets. Let me pull something out of it. I already am, bro. Look at that. Oh, it. pull that. Excuse me while I whip this out. Woo. This is, isn't this one of the most beautiful belts you've ever seen in your life? It's wow. gorgeous. World Heavyweight Championship. And I've defended this thing internationally. I've defended it around the world. And then this year, it's going to go to America. and. Who knows? Maybe Japan too. I'm learning up some Japanese as I go right now. So, um, so forgive me for being so great. I have got this one. When I get this key at the Thunder Bastard at the Light the Dragon show at the end of end of January, I'm going to then take the Progress title, and I will be the undisputed world champion. Fact. The facts Man, have been so laid good. out here. Um, Tate, I want to thank you so much for hopping on and enlightening us here with your greatness. Uh, before you go, can you please let the people know where they can follow you, where they can watch progress and all of that good stuff? Hey, so first of all, let's get the rubbish stuff out of the way. Progress Wrestling, you can watch that on Demand Progress Plus. And let me just give you a little sign for all your fans right now. If you use the code TATENESS, you get a first month free. And if you keep that up for three months, then I'll send you out a little signed Tate Mayfair's poster. You're welcome. As far as me, it's Tate Mayfair's. And it's S Mayfair's, not Mayfair. with the, there's, there's multiple Mayfair going on right here. Tate Mayfair's, and that's on every single social thing. I own that. That's my domain. So, um, yeah, you can find me everywhere. You can find me everywhere. And, I'm, and if you don't do that, then best be sure I'm coming to your hometown and I'm going to beat up, beat up your favorites. All right. Now tell me about how great I am, would you? Well, Tate Mayfair's, he's the greatest. We'll spread Not the word. Not even South Proclaimed. <laughs> um, we will spread thanks. the word. Thank you so much to Tate Mayfair's for coming in and chatting with us again. Friendly reminder, guys, head on over to ProgressWrestling.com to get all of the details on their upcoming event, January 28th, The Light of the Dragon. We're going to go ahead and take a break, and when we return, we'll go ahead and continue the conversation. More with Busted Open here on SiriusXM.